Okay. Uh, in summary, uh, we used Hyper-DVG in real-world application. Uh, we used it for a user mode scenario. We saw the syscall interception tricks. And uh, we also analyzed the network connection. And we also sniffed the data uh, of the network from the system calls. And in the kernel mode part, we also analyzed the WinDVG and intercept many of its functionality, use some of the uh, automated S scripts to find and uh, reverse some of the functionalities of WinDVG. And uh, as you can, as you probably know, this is the last part of this, seri uh, this series of tutorial. Uh, and uh, I think uh, from now you can use HyperDVG more in intelligently and efficiently. Uh, to enhance your reverse engineering journey. Uh, as the final note uh, for this tutorial, I could say that HyperDVG is a big project and it requires a lot of time and efforts from the community. And based on the current situation and the current number of developers and the limited uh, time and resources we cannot develop every part of the hyper dvg simultaneously so uh, new developers are always welcome to join and contribute to the project and uh please uh, uh whenever you want open some discussions in the hyper dvg and uh if you uh, want to assist on writing some of the features in hyper dvg uh you, you Heard some discussions about it uh, to discuss about uh, possible future assistance. And uh, another thing, another good thing about HyperDVG is uh, most of the time I see uh, those who use HyperDVG, uh, for example, some issues happen to HyperDVG. I, I let the I let those who open the issue to. Uh, fix the issue and they are, they are pretty okay. So I, 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 we all believe that those who use HyperDVG, all of them are professional computer programmers and of course reverse engineers. And almost all of them can help in this project. So I think it's time uh, to uh, go and add uh, some contributions if you can. And uh, you're pro you're pro welcome if you want to contribute on this project. Uh, nothing more. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, series, and I uh, hope to see you guys in uh, future tutorials. Uh, make sure to reach me whenever you want. Uh, whenever if you have any question that I think uh, that you think I can help, I would be gr I I would be uh, happy to help. Uh, and nothing more. Th uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching this uh, series and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.